Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, you will learn some design technique using uh, Tailwind CSS for our product page. So we will make it responsive on mobile and you will learn about how you can combine grid and flex together to design the layout on the product page. Currently, the product page looks great on desktop, but on mobile, it doesn't look properly at all. So if I shrink it down, it just display like this. So what I want to do is I want to display this um, images at the top and the images should be like a slider uh, and mobile it should be a slider which we focus in the next video but in this video we'll design it so if i come to the code the main product that liquid so we can see this is the description part and this is the product images so in here we have the grid column right so we say uh, the design that we have in here just focus on desktop so let's make it on mobile also so what we can do is uh, first of all, this grid that say it should have three columns, which two column is for images and the rest of it will be for the description or other part of the product. Now we will make it only for desktop. If we add the prefix of MD means it is only for desktop. So what else we can do? We can just save it. That's it. Now if I come here and refresh. Let's see how it will look like we say it is going to be only for desktop and do you think it will take one column by default for the rest of it? So here is how it works. When we say three columns, this one will take two of them. This one will take one. So if we do not specify anything, it should automatically display down here, but it is not. So if I refresh, it doesn't, it didn't grab the changes. Now it is working just fine. Now you can see the image are displaying at the top. This one will display at the bottom. So to make it fair, this one should be also MD. Now the reason is because if I pick this, you can dis you can literally say how many columns it is taking. So what I can do is I can say by default, grid column should be one. So it should check one column for each of this. So it will be one and one at the bottom. If I refresh it this time, bring it down now you can see it is taking the whole page uh, let's just grab this grid in here and you can see this one is for mobile okay for the grid and the bottom one is for the description that you see in here everything is looking great now now the other thing is we don't want to show all these images like this until user scroll down and find at to at the bottom. So we should make this a slider. So how do we do that? Uh, again, if I bring it up to the original, it should work just fine. Something like this. Now let's make this a slider. Okay. So here is what we do. This is the bottom one. And we have all these medias that you see in here. And we also see it, this is a grid. So if it is a grid, we cannot make it a slide. Instead, let's make it flex. And the way we do is, we say only on medium and above, means desktop, you make it grid. On other instances, it will be a flex. So if I do that, let's see how it will look now. Let's refresh. This is how it will display as a flex box in here. Okay, it is looking grid. Now what else we want to do is we want to make it scrollable in the X direction. So let's say overflow X should be scroll means user can scroll in the X direction. So let's go in mobile and see how it will look. Currently it is not scrollable and these are not displaying properly. Now what else we want to do is let's add some classes in here. What class? I want to have them a width of full means it should take the full width on the flex. When we say flex, which apply on mobile only, the width of them should be full. So when we say the width of them is full, it will take the whole page. Uh, rest of them will be scrollable. And the same thing will go for this first one. If you have watched previous video, the reason we put the first one as two column is because the first one was displaying big on desktop. So this time if I refresh, it is still not scrollable. The reason is because we did not shrink it. Um, we have to use this flex. Uh, classes does not work like auto complete in here. So if I come here and say flex shrink zero, 
means it will take the full page uh, for this flex items so you can say flex shrink zero and this time if i refresh it it is displaying the full width of this image now it is scrollable in here in the x direction this is not a slider currently but we will make it a javascript slider so it should snap slide when someone is sliding here it should snap fit in here that is what we do in the next video but this is basically how we can make it responsive if there is anything more i can add behind the scene but basically if you want to add responsiveness on the product page or any other page of your uh, shopify theme that is how you do now on desktop it will display as expected on mobile it is going to be a slider but the slider is not complete yet i'm going to add an arrow and in the two sides of there so it should go in the next and previous using javascript uh, but for now it is looking great so i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching i will see you in the next video